Hi everybody, this is Summer with Done Naturally. Welcome. Today we are going to be talking about lip flanging with regard to latching and breastfeeding. Commonly misunderstood, people tend to assume that a baby is latched on properly if their lips are flanged outward, like this, like a fish. And opposite, people assume that if the lips are not flanged out, that the baby is incorrectly attached. And I want to open your eyes to that a lot more. When we're talking about latch on, we need the baby's jaw to be wide open. Typically, when a baby opens wide, or what we call gape, when they open the widest, their lips also flange out a little bit. But the important part is that their mouth is wide because the nipple goes between the jaw. The nipple does not go between the lip and the gum line at all. So lip flanging is not that important. So a lot of moms who, after they latch on, investigate, which for me, I'm gonna show you with my breast here, that means they've latched the baby on and then they tend to push and look around and try to see what the baby's lips look like. And that is absolutely unnecessary. In some of my prior videos, like what does breastfeeding feel like over here, you'll see that the best way to tell if the baby's latched on is to close your eyes. Whatever you feel absolutely tells you if it's right or wrong. So when a baby's lips are flanged outward, if their jaw is tight or not open wide, guess what? Nipple pain. If their jaw is open nice and wide, then we don't usually have nipple pain if we don't have any other anatomical problems. So lips, very little to do with anything. I will, a caveat to that is if a baby is tied, meaning their frenulum is tied in their upper labia, which is right underneath here, creating this kind of curl here, it has nothing to do with pain, please understand that. It has everything to do with the ability to seal or not. So if a baby cannot stay attached on the breast and is commonly, constantly coming off because they actually can't create the seal, then that upper labial frenulum could be impacting that and we need to be addressed by a professional. But if they're allowed and able to stay onto the breast easily, then that's not a problem. So remember, lips being flanged out is an old, old myth. Babies don't have to have fish lips. And a lot of times when they do, their mouth is not wide enough. Remember, latching on, if this is a mouth, is about wide mouth, opening up and allowing as much of the breast tissue in there as possible. If we have flanged lips, but a very narrow jaw, we're gonna have problems. So ladies, close your eyes, see what it feels like. Stop investigating and don't worry about the lips. That's what I got for today. You guys have a very nice day. Give me a thumbs up if you like and pay attention to some of my other videos so you can be in the know. Talk to you guys later, bye.